I go to Kurtz. Barry, a penalty, the last play of the game. And a memorable season opener for both teams. Three-man rush. Mangum, all kinds of time. Steps into the throw, in the wind, down to the goal line, and caught! Touchdown, BYU! Mitch Matthews on the last play of the game! The ruling on the field is a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. It's under review. Was it a catch, and did he break the play into the end zone? There are the two issues. Three defenders on Mitch Matthews. Well, he's in the end zone, yep. and there's no sign that he doesn't have the catch. I think that's going to stand, Chris, don't you? Absolutely, it's going to stand, and a great job of Mitch Matthews using his body to block out. I think one thing you want to do if you're Nebraska, next time you defend this, you always want to have somebody in front of the receiver, and you kind of sandwich that guy, and it just allowed him to use his big body to box out two and catches it at the highest point. I mean, that's what we all called. Everybody knew it was coming, including Nebraska. Luke Gifford and Nate Gary there. Aaron Williams came in too late to help. And we believe this is going to stand and be... An unbelievably dramatic win for the BYU Cougars. Which will end the longest opening day winning streak in college After football. After review, the ruling on the field of a touchdown is confirmed. Game over. Mitch Matthews. And Tanner Mangum is a Cougar legend. <laughs> After one game in a BYU uniform. The coaches raved about him last night, Chris, and you can see why. Yeah, absolutely. I love this poise. His composure knew where to go with the ball. Never panicked. Threw the ball up and trusted his guys to make plays. Now, both teams, Sean, great effort. Great college football. This, uh, both teams should be proud of how they play today. And so many plays to look back on positively and negatively. It looked like for BYU that drop pass by... The running back, Algie Brown, in the first half really changed momentum of the game. They were poised to take a 17-point lead at the halftime. Devastating defeat for Mike Riley as he goes to congratulate his good friend, Brocko Mendenhall. Here's a Todd with Coach. Coach, I can't